My name is Adam Hossemeyer and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, we made it through Techtober, thankfully. And I don't know about you, but I got my eye on a lot of stuff. There's a lot of new cameras coming out, some new computers coming out, a lot of new gear. And it really is exciting. Uh, but those prices aren't really exciting. Boy, it seems like everything is just really, has really increased their prices a whole, whole lot. Uh, so I'm not really excited about paying all that, but uh, I am excited for all the new gear coming out. But to help finance some of that gear, I'm definitely going to have to sell off some of the stuff that I've bought in the past. and It's kind of getting outdated. I've tried to sell some stuff on uh, eBay before. And to be honest, it just didn't really work out very well for me at all. Like, I don't use eBay enough to be savvy enough to understand all the, the pitfalls and the traps that are out there if you use uh, eBay. Uh, it just seems like no matter what you do, people are trying to scam you out of your money. They're trying to scam me out of your product. Like I've tried to sell a few things and every time I try to sell those things, uh, I just get a bunch of scammers bidding on my stuff and they don't send me the money. And then, you know, it's like they want me to send the, the product to them without any money being paid. It just turns into a big deal. And like I say, I don't really use eBay enough to be able to recognize all those different uh, scamming those schemes. The Facebook market and selling face-to-face -face around here is going to be pretty much non-existent for camera equipment like this. I mean, I'm living in a small town in Oklahoma. Probably not very many people have an a7 III or these type of cameras that I use. So... Uh, the secondary market, like, you know, using Facebook or Craigslist or, or something of that nature, is pretty much out of the question. So I started looking at a lot of the options that are out there. And some of the YouTubers that I watch, they all kind of are sponsored by this company called KEH. So I was really interested in to see how that works. So I decided to sell some stuff through KEH. And I just want to kind of share my experiences with you. Uh, so maybe that could help you make a decision on, on you know, where to sell your equipment if you're trying to finance some new gear in the future. The first thing that you do is you go on to KEH's website and you get a quote and you enter in the, the equipment that you want to sell and you choose what condition you think it's in. There's like four, three or four or five different condition rankings and they give you a quote. I noticed that the prices that they give you are generally like 30 to 50% less than what you can get, you know, on a face-to-face -face sale or selling on eBay. Uh, some of the things I put in there, I was like, there's no way I'm selling that. My, like I put a drone in there and it was like $300. I'm like, I, there's no way I'd sell my drone for $300. I'd rather wreck it into a building uh, than, you know, sell it to them for $300. Uh, some of the other cameras I put in there, I really wasn't impressed with the price, uh, the quote that they gave me. So I just skipped it. But when I put my a7 III in there, uh, I thought that the price was fairly reasonable for how old the camera was, how much I've used it. Uh, so I decided to sell my a7 III on KEH and also the kit lens that came with you it. You submit the quote and then they'll email you a shipping label. So you print that label off, box it up, take it to the shipping place, and uh, they pay for all the shipping to KEH, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about any of that. And once they get your gear, they get in there and then inspect your gear and make sure that the uh, condition is what you said it was. And then, four, at least in my instance, four business days later, they send me an email with my final offer. And uh, I thought the final offer was acceptable, so I accepted the offer. And I think at this point, you can either choose to accept the offer or you can choose to have it sent back to you. And I think if you get it sent back to you, they also pay the shipping for that. So really, at this point, there is no risk to you at all in this transaction. I chose to accept their offer. So when you accept the offer, you can like take store credit or get a check. Uh, I'm not. I wasn't looking to buy anything in the used market, so I decided to take a check. Two days after the final offer, I received my check for my A7 III. For myself, I, I thought that was a really good experience with KH. Uh, I expected it to take much longer than it did, but you know, six to seven days after they got my gear, business days after they got my gear, I got a check from them in the mail. So if you're looking to sell some of your equipment, and boy, it's, it's, <laughs> the, if you're looking to sell some of your equipment to combat some of these higher prices that are coming out, 
and you really don't like to wait uh, for your money, and you don't want to put it on eBay and mess with all the scammers, and uh, you just want kind of an easy experience, I highly recommend KEH. Uh, it was a super, uh, super easy for me. I'm a dummy, so it was really easy for me. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, just go in there and put your quote in. If you do, if you like the quote, man, I say go for it because they make it super easy after that experience. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.